This is my custom comics closet. Let's open it up. Turn on the light. As you can see, here are some custom shelves. They're spaced as to be high enough for one set of short boxes. And they're designed to be slide out, slide back in. On the floor, you can see I left enough room for them to be double stacked in case I ever need to put something else on the floor. But there's still room for three boxes uh, right there. And that's a magazine size box. And one day I'll probably have to get a second magazine box and it'll fit right on top. And if we look up here, there's space for another row of five short boxes. This tin right here has zines and mini comics in it. Um, so usually when I come in here, um, not to look for something in particular, but to think about organizing or putting in a new batch of comics I've uh, bought, I'll just come in and I'll feel around and see how much space there is in a box just by kind of pressing into the holes here and to see what there is. And when you have a box like this Avengers box, for example, I could tell right away, right? There's not, I'm not going to be able to put anything more in there. I'll put a little... P for pack that just lets me know one not to bother putting any more trying to put anything more in there and two to remind me that soon I'm gonna to have to buy another box and maybe break out what I keep in there you can probably also tell by the names of these boxes the labels on them that um, when it comes to organizing I'm not uh, interested in just organizing alphabetically or even necessarily by publisher though that can shape what is in a particular box, but rather I organize thematically. So for example, something like this box here, Dazzler and other independent women, obviously you find Dazzler in there, but the reason this name uh, coheres as having meaning is because for most big two uh, women superheroes like She-Hulk, um, they are derivative, right? They're derivative of some male hero usually. So uh, they go in this box, right? So She-Hulk, Spider-Woman's in this box. Maybe Dazzler, Squirrel Girl is in this box, right? Um, if I didn't have a Thor box, right, then Jane Foster Thor would maybe be in that derivative uh, box. Or you might have something like this Marvel Legacy box, which has my Captain and Ms. Marvel comics in it currently, but I could put in another set of or paired set of uh, legacy titles that might fit uh, in there. One of the reasons why I like uh, organizing them in this way is not only because it lets me um, put them together in, in ways that make sense to me and that I can remember, but they also force me to rethink the relationships between these different comics um, by the very fact of organizing them, right? I have to think about them in new ways as I'm thinking about what could possibly uh, go together. And I'm consistently changing them as the collection grows and changes I need to think about how things are organized and moving things around. Um, but I always want the labels to have some sort of thematic resonance, at least for me, so that I can find them uh, that way. Um, so yeah, that's about it. That's the comics closet, and I might be making more videos uh, talking about some of these individual comics if people are, individual boxes, I should say, uh, if people are interested. Uh, That's really so